So yeah guys, good morning. Welcome to my vlog. This is Miss Isolde signing in. Oh yeah, tatumulan natin ang ating vlog sa paggawa ng Graham. And if you're currently watching me right now, please subscribe on my YouTube channel. Hit the likes button and click the notification bells for more video updates. Nandito kita ngayon sa kitchen at hinanda ko na yung mga kakailanganan.
guys have a nice day welcome to my blog our blog today is all about reading blog of this book the one guys so ito na yung next one that I did this is the book tree of miss caracas from her selection series novel so yeah let's start reading this So yeah, today, um, bukod pa sa pag-youtube ginagawa, pag-aaral guys, so I am monitoring also yung tiyahin ko na bibi kasi na-stroke siya. So today, ko lang papasilip sa'yo, this is my last day of taking and monitoring bibi. This is the 10th day, so we are going to their home right now with my mother guys, kasama kay mother ko. So we will go there guys. Ito yung bahay namin.
gently reading the one by Caracas. This is book three yeah, yeah, of her novel. And I am currently at page 14. Oh my god, can't you see? As what I have read, ang sabi dito, parang gusto ni Caracas na makipag make out kay ano kay Maxon ganoon and parang inakit niya nagsuot siya ng red gown nung pagkain niya ng dine sa dinner and then may may wakwak sa legs niya na pag may makikita yung legs niya ay parang naaakit si Max, si si Maxon and then may nahulog pa nga ni Tinito tinest niya kung maaakit sa kanya si Maxon yung unga hindi sumunod sa kanya si Maxon guys at talagang pinag-usapan ng katulong niya kung pupunta si Maxon sa kanyang kwarto after wearing those ang sabi sa kanya nung kiss this is trash daw yung damit ganun tapos sumunta nga si Maxon sa kanyang kwarto and then humiga, humiga umupo doon sa tabi niya and then yung damit niya is na parang mahukubat ng ganun tapos hindi pa rin siya pinatuloy ni Maxon. <laughs> Napahiya. Okay, ganun. Pero, hindi na sa ganun yung mapatawa. Basta-basta yung prince, you know. You know. <laughs> so, yeah. Let's read this again. Let's continue reading. Ang ganda ng story, guys. I love the book. OMG. I love it. So hi guys, <laughs> have a nice day. So I'm currently reading the one, and as what I have read is that uh, the four last contestant in the selection was trying to uh, be with Maxon, but you know um, there was an anxious and insecurities. That is happening, and there are times there na um, the king was going out for a while, and Maxon would take over the the place, and so there are moments that Maxon uh, were trying to have date with her like that, but before the Chris didn't have yet kiss Maxon, but right now Chris already kissed Maxon but that the Maxon goes America was the first uh, in his list so Maxon goes to her room and then um, it leads to a date so by tomorrow is happening na, nung that day after that night so the date was not that uh, formal date guys so maxon was always uh no the 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 heart of america she was not into money right guys so she's he surprised america with a library and then in the top of the palace i think the rooftop and america saw that it was raining and then was sweet evening for them and then they kiss and then there's no way that they know what is happening so they build the they build the trust so after that a while um as far as i know before that is happening there are two rebels come up to the palace and wanted to talk with uh, maxon and 
America and they are from the north the travel was not that of that kind of making a trouble in the palace all they want is to talk with Maxon and America the choices they made was America he wanted America to be the princess and all that he pleaded for Maxon is to destroy the cast as what I told you before the the proposal of America is to destroy the cast but it was not published in the media or in television so right now there is a plan that they were going out of the palace and talk to August and Mika at the northern end by that page that I'm into I'm at currently at page 100 row right here so they're done going to the place of uh, Mika and August but the truck they're using are surrounded by the rebels guys so they see that the truck was you know um a logo of palace of elia and um aspen was the driver were um wearing clothes of civilian like maxon and america was wearing um jeans and t-shirt like that you know that's all august give a paper of telephone in order for Maxon to um to call if they were going to destroy the cast and you know this is not assurance right but their lives was in danger because of the southern rebellions want to um kill or the twos and threes levels of the cast what i mean the twos and threes are all um a good well family like they have good work popular and everything the southern rebels known that the tools and three are the richest one so they want to kill them so when they go out to the house the truck was surrounded by the rebels i think the southern rebels and my aspen uh, was protecting the majesty and the prince the, the having princess you know they don't know that uh, the prince is there because they're wearing a civilian clothing but there are a civilian the rebellion of the southern surrounded their track and they were looking for food but so Aspen uh, told them to have food so I think there might be trouble in here. <laughs> so yeah, we were going to continue reading this book, this selection, book three, the one by Caracas. So hanggang don palang ina babasa ko. <laughs> so yeah, oh my god. So as what I told you guys, nagtagalog na ako ngayon. If you really don't mean what I am talking the cast is the level of life so the two entries are the richest and the four and fifth and the six and the eight and seven are the poorest one but the fourth and fifth the fourth and fifth is the middle class so yeah let's continue reading oh my god guys na corona trouble so after surrounded by the southern rebellion i think the rebels because it's 11 the carp you started at 11 in the city so the truck was surrounded by the rebellion this america was shot by gun on her i think arm i guess and then maxon held her and i the plan is if there's something happen america will going to run anywhere that someone will help her so america runs but she didn't know that she was uh, shot by gun and she was heard by this little young lady who live in the street 
like she was Paige. Paige is level 4. She is a 4 in the city because she has a restaurant. So, but her mom died and the restaurant was given to her auntie. So, she didn't have or she doesn't have money. But then her father was there. But they don't have money because the restaurant was given to their auntie. And she was taking, taking, taking money from the restaurant and ran away. And her father died as well. When her father died, she was beaten by her auntie. And when she, you know, ran away home, um, her auntie wanted her to go back to the restaurant but she didn't want and took money and ran away and live in the street so thank god Paige is there and take care of her and then escorted her you know while Maxon and Aspen was not there and also the officer after a while after 30 minutes I guess 20 minutes or I think more than 30 minutes uh, there's someone was um, shouting out outside um, it's Maxon she said he said that Mir it's Max Ganon. so they, that is their a nickname outside the palace and that is um, that was Aspen um, plan if they're going to outside their name was like this ganyan para hindi ma-distinguish so ayun sinakay siya sa truck and sinabi niya na may tama siya ng America asked Paige if she wanted to go with her in the palace and Paige um, noticed that the prince is there your majesty and then um, Paige um, come with her and they immediately go back to the palace <gasps> there's something going on and i think uh, america proposal as what i have uh, told you on re my reading blog and re wrap up of the elite book 2 novel of caracas you know the elite book 2 i put her the link in above the letter i on the corner and I don't know if they are here, here or there, you know. But you know, I told you that the proposal. She said that she want to erase the cast. You know, we are happy. You are grateful that we don't have cast. We live in the Philippines without cast, so we are free from that. So yeah. Yeah, hey, let's continue reading. I love the book, guys. So, yeah, we are going to wrap up this book. And I'll learn a lot from this book. You know, reading is also learning. And while reading, you go a lot more places. You know, parang naground the world ka na rin. So, yeah, let's continue. <laughs> it's rainy day today. Guys, you know, natatawa ko. 
I feel a little funny all alone on my own right here in my room reading this book oh yeah for those who are watching me those booktuber you really feel me while reading books you are laughing all alone you know because because guys pag nagbabaka sa ka ng libro pag naiintindihan mo talaga guys while reading you feel like crazy <laughs> <laughs> laughing on your own in your room and then you realize wow this book is so amazing so that's what I told you immediately they go after to the palace and then syempre Aspen knows well kung nasaan yung mga camera guys oh my god <laughs> Prince Maxon is in jealous guys so America is in pain because uh, she suffered a gunshot on her arm and then they brought her I think to Aspen room in the palace guys it is a small room and oh my god in his room there are pictures uh, you know na nakadikit sa wall and then may mga letters na nakadikit <laughs> you know kayo ba nakaranas na ba kayo ng love letters mga ganyan guys na mga relationship nagbibigayin ba kayo ng love letters <laughs> actually guys na ano ko yan na experience ko yan guys even though dun sa last boyfriend ko you know I love sending letters guys you know <laughs> I don't know lang ha but you know I love sending letters sa mahal ko just an expression that I love the person you know by reading this book I feel laughing all along on my own so the boy Aspen is level 2 na soldier and guard at the palace <laughs> and then Maxon goes to his room and there is a picture of her family and you know the letter of <laughs> America <laughs> oh my god and Maxon was getting a little jealous actually guys America wanted to write a letter to Maxon but parang sinasabi na America na wag na pero <laughs> Naging test American ng ganun. Sabi pa ni Maxon, which exactly how I would do it. <laughs> Parang gusto ni Maxon magbigay ng letter din. <laughs> Ay! Ayan. Oh my God. Na naghili at nakapost pa sa wall yung love letter. Oh, diba? Oh my God. Let's continue reading and I will going to cheese you. Chit chat with you with the next event here oh my god uh, may tama dito si america and they were ano making it uh heal like ginagamot siya or treat okay so yeah let's continue reading oh my god this book is so wonderful and great and beautiful story as of you know 2020 this is one of my favorite but you know after reading this book after reading the book up to December, I will gonna make a vlog. My favorite book up to 2020. Or my favorite books to reread of 2020. So, yeah, let's continue reading. Oops, nakikita yung dimple ko. Ayan. Guys, may dimple talaga ako. That's the difference. Okay, bye-bye.
Jackson will send uh, America sa kanilang bahay and the flight eight by tomorrow and ibibigyan siya ng kasamang bodyguard si Aspen and then yung officer legend na kasama nila nung sila lumabas and almost eight body bodyguards ang mga kasama niya just make sure na safe si Lady America pag lumabas or pagdabas ng castle or palasyo so yun, I'm right there and I'm currently living it right now talagang si Amerika na yung pinipili guys ito naman si Amerika ayun niya masakta yung mga kaibigan niya so yun lang, oh my god <laughs> so let's continue reading guys, manapit na ako matapos so yeah, see you later Hi guys! So, mag-open tayo ng package niyo. May dumating kasi. May dumating. Actually, yung isa na una dito, hindi ko dumadat. So, this is from Shopee and yung store is Yuko House. So, open yung ito guys. So thank you so much sa Yuko House. Actually, yung kapatid ko meron ito kaya umorder na din ako. <laughs> so sa kanya yung black, umorder ako ng own pink. So ito siya. So ayan, this is uh, Georgion. Georgion, I'm sorry if mali yung aking pagka-pronounce Georgion watercolor with pouch. Bakit sira yung ano? Yung kanyang pouch. So ayan. Let's open this space. Thank you so much, Sir George. So, ito siya. Meron siya naman. Sa Yuko House to Galing, yung pouch po ay sira. Oh my God. Siya yung spray paper. Pang painting siya. Watercolor kasi siya. Mga ilang piraso kaya ito. So, gawin mo dito sa journey ako. Tapos, meron siya. Ganito kasi siya, guys. 36 color with white na watercolor, I think. And then, meron ang kanyang shade na ito. And then, yung free brush niya. Ang free brush niya pala ay isa lang with free eraser tsaka yung may free na po ito yung brush na free at meron syang isang lapis na free drawing pencil. It's a Japanese or Chinese or Chinese pen. Tapos meron siyang ano tawag dito? Brush na ang tawag dito ni na free. So ayun. Nagapin na siya dito ng ink. So, ito siya guys. 36 color. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 
So yeah, thank you po sa Jordan and Yipong House for this watercolor, guys. So ito pa lang papel na free is 8 pieces. Free. And yeah. This is it, guys. Ah, so, bakit kaya nasira yung pouch na yung sira? Bago naman. Para nasira yung pouch na. So, thank you so much for this wonderful watercolor. So, we are going to make journal for January. Hindi ko pa nasa-show yung aking journal for um, 2020. But you know, I'll go to show it to you guys. I'm going to show you kapag may time na ako. I will show you just a little ngayon guys. So guys, for the month ah, so guys, for the year 2020, nakadalwa ako ng journal. So ito Three hours later.
is my third day reading. This is the one book tree of Miss Kirkas and I'm already done reading this book. I will not gonna spoil you but I will going to wrap up this book with you. But the last event here is that uh, Maxon were trying to uh, propose not to publicize the engagement. But then nilusob sila ng mga rebellions and Maxon is on danger at kamuti ka na siyang mamatay and his parents died and this America is you know tinago ni Aspen and this Aspen ex-boyfriend is you know kamunti ka na mamatay and kamunti ka na, I think hindi nakakalawad si Maxon or what or maybe he can walk again by that oh my god <laughs> oh my god you know um, America her father died right and then America um, took the vacation for four days sa kanilang lugar. So, nandun si Aspen at nagbabantay sa kanila. And then, um, by taking the plane, pagpalik after four days, na-miss ni Maxon si America. And something strange like that pagdating niya sa palasyo. And then, diretsyo doon sa dressing room sa mga babaeng kwarto doon sa nagbibisa nila. At yung mga babae nagsa-celebrate na magpapropose na and then sasabihin na kung sino yung mapapangasawa. Nagkakaroon engagement party kinabukasan. Oh my God! And this Chris pala is a rebellion guys. But then, nabago yung kanyang isip na inlove siya kay Maxon. So, siya naman, nagulat siya and then Pumunta siya sa kwarto kasi na pagod siya kasi jet, there is a jet lag mula yung kanyang nilakad. Hindi siya nakabalik doon sa kanilang celebration. Mac, uh, si America is nagpahinga sa kanyang kwarto. And then a while, Maxon came up. Nagtutok sa kanyang room and pumasok. At may daladalang isang regalo and then isang envelope. Tapos sa regalo pala na yun, nandun yung painting. May ginawang painting si Maxon na kung saan yung pala i-regalo niyang bahay kay kay American pamilya na kung saan para malapit lang sila sa palasyo nila. And then, dun sa kanyang envelop na isa, na dun pala yung mga letters pero di pa niya nababasa yun. And then, nag-share sila, sinabi niya na si American na talaga ang kanyang pangakasalan. So, yun guys, I will gonna end this reading vlog today. And yeah, I'm so happy I finished three book of Miss Caracas, her novel, first selection series. And second, the elite entered is the one. And I'm going to here and have a reading vlog next. The book, the here, fourth book of Miss Caracas. So yeah, well, before it's far, if you're currently watching me right now, please subscribe on my YouTube channel, hit the likes button, and click the notification bell for more video updates. So yeah, I'm so happy. This is Miss Isolde. Spread. Bye-bye.